What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here, and it's wiggity, 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 wheels in the background. What's going on? I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, so I had to re-download Farm Sim because I'm silly. Um, and I was sitting here going like, oh, I bet, I bet I could just do like this because I've always had my mouse turned off. So I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna spin my mouse a bunch and see, and then I'll hit record. And go, yeah, I haven't had my mouse installed while so I can do this. Woo! Because I have a controller in it. I have the <laughs> I have the camera limited because I have a tendency to do this the whole recording. Um, but yeah, when I started doing that, these started going. We get 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 we get. So I got to reset this thing. I just reset to the back of the uh, literally like right behind it. So let's go in and reset and talk about the things that we're gonna do today because we've got a few. There we go. Reset. Legit reset back here, and the wheels are not going wiggity 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 anymore. Very good. Moving on. <laughs> Took a minute. A minute out of my day just because you decided to do wheel stuff. Today, we're going to get some mowing done. And I'm going to try to use the Zarian for everything. Now, a lot of you guys were telling me, DJ, you could use the Zarian. <laughs> And it's been like four or five days since I recorded an episode on here. And so the whole time I feel like, I know, I know, I know. Say, so I haven't tried it yet. So today we're going to try it. So let's pull in here. Legit, I haven't even touched anything. I think the last video I had on this was like Friday. I recorded that video Friday, like Wednesday. So let's take the mowers off of Meow and put them on to Meow. And we'll take the weight and put it on something else. So let's drop the rear. Let's bring this up here. Drop that right there, pick up the weight, and move this out the way. There we go, perfect. Swing, got it. Now, let's jump in the cow. Now, let's move this over here. I'm using this cow pasture as a bunch of stuff, so I think we may need to relocate the cows. Let's take this, bring it here. Now, I know it hooks up, but I don't know if it powers, because there's no PTO. So that's my issue here. But some of you guys will say, DJ, I do it all the time, man. Come on, just like, get with it. It's all good. Okay. I'm going to trust you. I should not. But I'm going to trust you. Actually, the best place to start with this right here. There we go. Get that unfolded. Oh, hydraulics work. And the fact that it is a zero turn. Nah, it's z not really zero turn. You know what? It's a zero turn mower. Today, it's zero turn mower. I had some Red Bull. I've been taking a nap. <laughs> it's, it's game time, yo. Drop it down, turn it on. We'll all be. <laughs> if it doesn't work, goodness gracious, how's about that? Well, that is going to make mowing a whole lot easier, especially with this. I wanted to keep this so that so that we could do mowing and all that good stuff, and and be able to use zero turn mowers because I feel like these are. I mean, this does such, as good of a job as anything else does. But yeah, not too bad. So here's what we've got to do. If you guys want to get called up from what we did on the last episode, because I need to catch myself up. Man, ADD is running rampant today. <laughs> Welcome to Farm Sim, baby. Oh boy, oh boy. So what we've got is we have three grass fields filled. One, three, five. One, three, five. Yes. One, three, and five. Those are three. I should restart this whole thing. Not going to. We're going to keep going. <laughs> fields one, three, and five need to be mowed. We're going to take the grass. We're going to windrow it up. Once it's windrowed up, we're going to take it all. We're going to turn it into chaff. We're going to chaff it just like we did the uh, corn silage from last or the corn silage chaff from last week. Then we're going to take all that. We're going to make it work for us. So we're going to take it all and we are going to turn off those rear mowers. There we go. Uh, we're going to take all that and hopefully get much, much more silage than we did before. Maybe. Just maybe we're going to make a bunch of silage. Shouldn't take too long, so let's get to it. This has actually turned out really good. It's a little bit long. Um, if I had a shorter all-wheel steer tractor, might work a little bit better, but this is working just fine. Uh, as a matter of fact, if I had the uh, couple of the Pottinger mowers, I'd probably just use those instead. But we're using as much cloth equipment as possible. We're almost done. We've got what? one itty bitty sliver of a pass right here and be done. But you can see right here at the end, just turning 
in general just a little bit more difficult than it has to be. Did we miss a little spot? We did miss a little spot. We're going to fling back around and we're going to get that. Now, I'm not going to do this entire thing in one swipe. Uh, we're just going to kind of do field by field. That way I don't get bored and that way you guys don't get bored either. So we've got that. Good, good. Fold it up, be done with it, and bring it over here. Awesome. Now, the great thing is with the next few things, we actually can do the rest of this in like a couple different things. I think what I'm going to try to do as well, I don't think I've got it purchased, but I'm going to buy it. Okay, this guy right here. Let's see if we can drop that because we only have two tractors, I think, now. Yeah, we only have two tractors. So with this... Um, I actually need to get in there, so I gotta move the griffin out of the way. Also, big stuff happening with griffin stuff. That's all I'm saying. I'm get, get so excited. Oh man, I can't even say anything. I don't think I'm getting excited. Max, this thing out of here. I love this truck, by the way. Let me know if you guys are using the griffin. The griffin is amazing. Uh, it's It really should be on everybody's map. This, along with the Hulk Plus Plus and the Warrior Plus Plus, have just transformed farming simulator and i think it's completely for the better now let's go right there actually let's reset because i don't want to buy this at least not yet did we reset oh yeah it doesn't make a noise move it on <laughs> today's gonna be one of those days guys if you don't want it I do. come and see us tomorrow <laughs> all right we need to buy one of these the front lifter we're gonna buy a color version and i think i'm gonna go with white because i think the white would look kind of the neatest on here we could do a red but i don't think the reds you know the, i think, think yeah, the red's gonna be a little interesting so we could either go with a gray but i'm not sure how the gray is gonna look but the green or the white would look good so <laughs> let's go with a white one and we'll see what it looks like if no if it's bad then we'll we'll change it up but it, i think it'll be okay right here front lifter color class yeah purchase yes please thank you very much now that that's done, we're just gonna reset this. Also, a couple people were asking me, what is that thing that I just did? I don't know what it's called. It's like store helper or something like that. Uh, it is great for changing up locations. When you're leasing, it's fine. But when you're purchasing, sometimes it gets a little bit interesting because it'll try, it'll like charge you extra. It charges like 10% or 5% or 2.5%, something like that. It charges extra. That white looks real bad. <laughs> We're gonna use it anyway, don't care. We're gonna back in here because I need an extra tractor. And I was like, you know what? I got plenty of horsepower in here. This will work. Actually, do I have plenty of horsepower in here? Oh, I don't have enough weight. That's a, that's a fact. That ain't gonna work. It's not gonna work. Look at this, we were just trying and trying and trying. Ooh, what if I get another one of these and put a weight on the front of it? Oh. I can hear the wheels in your in your head spinning at home, and you're absolutely right. I should get another one of them and put a weight on it just so this works. I don't think I've got enough horsepower, though. All right, front lifter, we can all agree that white was not the color to purchase at all. So let's get the gray. Let's set it for right there. We're going to reset this one just like that. Hopefully, this is the correct color else. It's gonna look bad too. This is gonna look bad too, isn't it? Oh, come on, slide up for it there. That's the correct color. And that looks way better than that does on the back. That is nasty. Let's get that something. Nope, that's not it. Oh. Oh, well, that's not right. Um. It's stretchy. Wonder how far I can get before it just it's not good. Yeah, something's going on. Well, we got it off of there. We're gonna pick up a weight real quick. This weight should do. Eh, it might do. I'm not sure there's enough weight on the front of this thing right now, but we're gonna I am intent on making this work because I want to see it work so bad. 
No, let's go into first person because the tail handlers you can see pretty darn well. I had to detach not only the three point but also the thing it's <laughs> the uh all right. Can we do it? Hooked, yep. So my front weight just dropped itself. And now my front weight's doing that thing that it one one day everything will work. One day. Okay, got it. Good. Pick it up. Good. Yeah. That took too much time. That's exactly how much time that took. All right, so this is going to be completely bad. I uh, hope you guys are ready because we're going to have to swap tractors immediately. <laughs> we're going to do it anyway. Dead cow, dead cow, dead cow. All right, we need... Get this thing open. Let's pull up our help window here just to see kind of what's going on. Let's see. Mode, no, 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 no. Swap between everything. Work mode. Yeah, I don't. It's not telling me what work mode we're in because this is not supposed to happen. All right. I don't actually know which way this is going to spit it out, so I'm just going to drop it and see. All right, so it's kicking it that way. So now we can do this. Turn. Turn. Do it. All right. Should kick it in to the left. Turn it on. <laughs> this is working. It's working, man. All right, we got to take a picture of this because this is... <laughs> Hilarious. All right, smile and say doesn't work. Not supposed to work even. All right, title of video: using telehandler to. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is great, man. I'm loving it. I am loving this so so much. Unfortunately, it's not loving it, and we're definitely gonna have to swap a vehicle because this with all wheel steering. Actually, we can turn all wheel steering off. Um, yep, yep, this ain't gonna work. We were so close to a breakthrough. <laughs> it just isn't gonna happen. Not like that, it's not. Let's get this thing reset up. I was able to disconnect it and everything, no problem, so that's nice. Hooked up, turn the help window on. See, swath mode left. I actually know which way it's going now. That is, well, different from before now, isn't it? And we can move. We're going so much faster now. Yes. Uh, this model is actually one that goes super, super fast. One that I modded way, way back when for work on Pacific Northwest when we were just doing silly stuff on Pacific Northwest. This is definitely not. Yeah, we're just having fun. That's exactly what we're doing. So now that we've got all that done, I've showed you guys before how to use this, uh, this swather right here. It's a, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy using this. Uh, do we leave any? Nope, we're good. Let's go and turn that off. Move it around. Uh, it is tough because the rear wheels turn forwards and backwards. You can keep that from happening. However, I just, eh, just leave it on. It's fine. It is what it is. So let's go through. We're going to make some lines and then we're going to come back through and we're going to pick them all up. Here's the one thing. I think a lot of people experience this, but they don't actually know how to do it. Now, there's a lot of different ways. I'm doing a center swath right now. You get to this last little triangle. And then you're like, but if I keep going, I'm going to ruin my other swaths. That's okay. Totally okay. What we're going to do is we're going to turn it on. We're going to make our center swath. We're going to get to about right here. And then I am just going to pick up this one and bring it through. Now, if we turn around, look at that. You were going to end up with a short one and a longer uh, run anyway. Now, we've just done it this way. So now your shorter one's right here. You've picked up everything from over there. I tell you what, nobody would notice. Maybe it's ACD, a ACD, ACDC. Told you today's been a weird day. <laughs> it's been a long day as well. ACDC. No, Siri, leave me alone. Stop it. <laughs> Goodness, I can't win for losing today. I don't know if I'm losing or I'm just winning so much that it's. Whew. Bring it down, baby. Bring it down. Let's come back over here. We've got a trailer in here somewhere. We got a loading wagon. That's exactly what we need. There it is. We're going to pick up the loading wagon. We're going to turn all this grass into chaff. And simply just jump right in, turn it on, 
turn that pickup on, and then you can either go from like an above look or you can go uh, in cab. For straight lines, always go in cab because you know you're not going to miss anything. However, for turns and stuff like that, I will always use out of cab mode because I, I never know if I'm going to hit anything or if I'm going to, you know, mess anything up. And right here, especially at the ends, usually if we get a big swath, like a big straw swath from a like an ideal combine or uh, really anything with a, a larger than 40 foot header, you run into the possibility of it not being able to pick everything up. So what I'll do is I will eyeball it and see, you know, <laughs> is it much wider than the pickup is? Like this right here, I would be worried that it wouldn't pick everything up. And I'd be right to worry about that. So I'll just swing a hard right. And then we'll just come back and forth and pick every little piece up. I don't think this picks up backwards. It may. Some of these pick up backwards. Some of them don't pick up backwards. And that's kind of annoying when you're not sure which one does which. Maybe one day we'll be like, all right, this is everything that does things backwards. This is everything else that does things forwards. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, we're about halfway full so far from here. So we're gonna take our time. We're gonna pick everything up and we're gonna make our way over there for the first run. Field five equals done. We are all done with field five. We're gonna take this over here. We're gonna get this dumped in and I believe we're getting on up there. We've already had one load this is our second load. First load didn't really have anything to it. I gotta be honest with you guys. There was really nothing going on with that first load. First load? Yeah, there was, it was full. What are we talking about? But that was it. There was only one load. I was expecting to get at least two off of here. Now, of course, that's not our largest uh, grass field. And speaking of grass fields, field four is now going to be a grass field. 62, 64 oats. 77 and 80 are both wheat and 79 and 88 are both barley because I said we are going to be doing a massive straw crop harvest. It is a dumb decision, but I am very, very excited because as you guys know, I love straw crops. Don't know why, can't explain it. Just is what it is, no apologies. <laughs> so we are gonna do a massive straw crop harvest and we're gonna have a good time doing it right here. Is about right there. This is the way that I load these in as well, uh, especially when you're working by yourself. You really want to go ahead and get all this stuff kind of in there and packed in and backed up and all that good stuff because once you get it all, let's actually raise our pickup and we're stuck. So don't do what I'm doing, I guess. Can we drop it? Oh, now I'm really off the ground. We're gonna need some help getting this out of there. There we go, no big deal, it is what it is. There we go, cool. How much do we have? Cause I know we've got a lot in here. We have 565,000 liters and it is 7% compacted as well, very cool. We will be using our large Zarian for the compaction because we could simply get that thing up there and just run around in circles and be totally fine. We'll be good with that. So we've gotten two things done now. We are three things, I guess. We mowed, we dropped our weight, <laughs> we mowed, and we windrowed, and we picked it up. So what we're gonna do this time around is the exact same thing. I've got two more fields to do. I'm gonna dock both of them out. Um, we're not even gonna record it. I'm just gonna get them done, get it over with. Um, and then we are going to pick back up once we've got that done, because we will have to come back through we're gonna need to spray these fields. So this field and the field over there, we're gonna have to spray both of those. We may put solid fertilizer on them, at least this time around, but I will tell you, eventually we're gonna have to do a, um, I think we're gonna have to get another tractor. We're gonna have to figure something out. Maybe we can use our telehandler since we've got the three points on them. Maybe we can use that, but we don't have anything now that will do narrow tires. Now we could do narrow tires on here, but this is a little bit big for a spraying tractor. So we will take a look and see, look at our finances and say how stupid were we when we sold the other tractors. We're gonna go from there, but let's knock these fields out. Last run right here, 4,600 liters. Can't believe I had to go back to field one just to pick this up, but everything else is done. Every field is picked up with grass. We've got all three of them today. The problem is we're overflowing a little bit here. So we're gonna have to take that. You gonna run into the wall? Absolutely, we're gonna run into the wall. Uh, we are gonna have to take all of this at the front and move it. 
because I have not tested to see if this can hang off the edge or not. So I'm not even going to attempt it. I am just going to dump this in here. There we go. We're empty. Perfect. That's about as far as I want to get that done. Now I'm just going to drop the trailer and start moving up and down, up and down, up and down. It's going to take a minute. It's going to take a hot minute, but eventually we will be good. We're not going to do too much around the front section right here. We have 759,000 liters in here. This will hold way more than that, as you could probably tell. Um, but unfortunately, we can't really do much more with any more. So I'm going to do my best. Uh, and yes, the silo, the way this silos or both of these work is they do pile everything up in a triangular shape with a flat top on it right in the front. So there's not a whole lot that we could do about that. That is what it is. And there's nothing that we could do about it. However, we can try anyway to go up and down and get stuff together. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Can't really do much with this kit. <laughs> nope, not at all. Well, we're a little underpowered for what we're using here, but it's working okay. I'm not sure which one of these is better. Um, they were the only, really the only two I had installed that showed as being a leveler and more so a weight than a leveler to make compacting go quicker. And we're going between one and 2% every time forwards and backwards. As a matter of fact, we're done. I can just back off this thing. We're good. Yep, there's 100%. So, what do we do now? Well, I need to get all this junk off the edge, put back in. Which means I need to find a te telehandler right here. And we got a bucket around here somewhere for it as well. It's a big bucket, which is good for us. So, let's scoot in here. It seems to be getting ever so crowded down here. I think we need to get rid of a few things. Either that or just move stuff in general. So I'm just gonna go across the front and we've got it all already. Perfect. Let's go up here. Let's see if we can make this. Oh yeah, we got it. We got it. We could do this. Yeah, boy. And then simply, just like that, back it up. And it should go all nice and flat again. And it'll dump it wherever it needs to go which is great there we go all's done there so now we need to go down we need to do that one more time let's see let's just go down in the area where it's already mushy and we're gonna do it one more time i think we should be able to get away with doing it once more might have to do this two more times yeah we're definitely gonna have to do this two more times because we're full again so let's go back up here to the top Let's go up the section that's not clean yet. Come on, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. There we go. All right. So we've already 100% compacted the stuff that was up here beforehand that we just put here. So that's good. Let's go ahead and raise this up and just point it down and it'll fill in all the spots that are not straight forward. Just like these spots that you see right here. The good thing is too, we don't actually need to compact that we need to compact just anything and we'll be good let's jump down again the area that needs to be cleaned one more time guys one more time and then we're all done with this and then we can make some silage all the grass is done up we've got one filled chaff up <laughs> we've got a bunch going on man oh man come on now that's not what i wanted to do let's see if we can pull up here and then just dump right in front of us and just back up push up yep that's gonna work exactly the way i want it ha 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 tricked you boom baby same thing here we're just gonna get this whole chunk right there and that's it that is it right there we do need to get it up here so i am gonna have to make this jump again let's bring that weight down to us just a bit Perfect. Cool. I don't like doing silage that often, but it seems to be a great way, at least on this map, it's been a great way to make money. And so we are going to continue. Uh, we're going to continue to do silage and make money. Eventually, 
possibly not only buying the BGA outright, so taking the BGA and actually owning the entire thing, but, so it looks like we've moved quite a bit up here, that's nice. Um, not only that, but owning the area around it, which I think would be really nice. What we could do is we could set up some kind of cool stuff. I'm thinking with this map going in the way of doing similar things that we did on Lone Oak in 17 and more so to the effect of doing things like we did on Peterville here in 19 when we first started. All right. Now that I know that's not going to work, we're going to go with the back and forth method here. Silo's done. Let's blanket it. Boop. Got it. Yep. Little bit of chaff right there on the edge. I'm going to clean that up with this. And what we'll do is we'll go put it in our silo because we have multi-fruit silo. So we'll take that extra chaff and we will save it for next time. It didn't let me get it. Hmm. Maybe it's not going to. Maybe. Just maybe not meant to be got well I got some so definitely meant to be got Let's see if we can get this last piece well we got the chaff 32 liters not 3200 not 32,000 32 and that's all right you know what I am cool with it and with that being said we're gonna dump right on top of the cow yep I'd stop too and that is gonna be it for today I hope you've enjoyed I hope you had fun if you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join Cohen fam, and turn your notification bells on so that you never miss a video here on the channel. Sometimes we're serious, most of the time we're not. That first statement was false. So, with that being said, <laughs> I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. God, I love this thing. Peace!